सो दिस इज द्वेश्चन रिलेटेड टू फोर वेरिएबल एस ओ पी के मैप सिंप्लीफिकेशन वी हैव दिस गिवन बुलियन फंक्शन इन टर्म्स ऑफ द मिन टर्म वैल्यूज एंड दे आर जीरो वन टू थ्री फोर सेवन एट नाइन टेन एलेवन ट्वेल्व एंड फोर्टीन एंड वी हैव द फॉर्मेट ऑफ द फोर वेरिएबल एस ओ पी के मैप सो नाउ वी हैव टू मैप दिस boolean function into the k map we have to mark the respective cells as per the min term values given 0 1 2 3 4 7 8 9 10 11 12 14 okay <coughs> so now we have to form the groups as per the rules of group formation so here pay attention to cells 0 4 12 and 8 they are adjacent these four cells so we can group them together to form a quad okay next pay attention to cells 0 1 3 2 8 9 11 12 and 14 okay cell number 0 zero one three two eight nine eleven and ten okay these eight cells we can group them to form an octet these eight cells an octet next these two cells three and seven we can form a pair and now see cells 12 8 14 and 10 here we can form a quad now here uh, what uh, most of the students who are new to this concept what they do is they form a pair here that is 14 and 10 these two cells they form a pair here but that is wrong because here there is a possibility of a higher you know group higher member group to be formed this quad possibility is there so whenever there is a possibility of a higher populous population group you should always go for that so if you form a pair by grouping these two cells 14 and 10 then it would be wrong you have to form a quad involving cells 12 8 10 and 14 always give priority to a more populous group okay so this is the right approach the quad not the pair so we have grouped all the cells now we have to find the common variables so first let us take this uh quad here so you can see um uh, here this quad it has four cells marked with the horizontal components as this a bar b a b a b bar and c bar t bar so here c bar t bar and this this quad i'm talking about so here you see in the horizontal side there is nothing common okay nothing common only the vertical component is there common in all the cells so this has c bar d bar as the common set of variables which will be a part of the simplified boolean expression now <clears throat> let us pay attention to this octet this octet okay so here in this octet in this octet we have c bar d bar c bar d c d 
cd bar okay this and this okay a bar b bar a b bar and all of this okay this octet i'm talking about involving cells 0 1 3 2 8 9 11 10 so here in this octet you can see in the horizontal side we have b bar common in the horizontal side in the vertical side there is nothing common there is nothing common only in the horizontal side we have b bar common so in this octet we have b bar as the common variable so that will also be a part of the simplified boolean expression see in the horizontal side there is nothing common c bar d bar c bar d up to this point c bar is common then in these two cells d is common in these two cells c is common but there is nothing common in the four cells four cell components the vertical side there is nothing common in the horizontal side we have b bar and b bar yeah okay so this is for this octet then we have let us take um, this quad here involving cells 12 8 14 and 10 okay <coughs> so horizontal components a b a b bar c bar d bar c d bar okay this this octet is this quad i'm talking about involving cells 12 8 14 10 okay so here in the horizontal side we have a common in the horizontal side in the vertical side d bar common so a d bar will be the common set of variable which will be part of this simplified boolean expression a d bar Next we have is the final group which is this pair. So in this pair we have the vertical component CD, horizontal component A bar, B bar, A bar, B. So here in the vertical side we have this CD common in both the cells. The vertical in the horizontal side we have a bar common so a bar c d for this pair a bar c d is the common set of variables so this is the simplified boolean expression for this given boolean function in terms of the min term values okay so this is the eighth question So this is the ninth question related to SOP food variable KMAP simplification. We have this given boolean function which we have to simplify. It is given in term of min terms and we have the format of the uh, food variable SOP KMAP. So the min terms are 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14. So let us map it into the KMAP. So 0, 1, 2, 4, 5, 6, 8, 9, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so we have mapped it. Now we have to form the groups. Okay, so here if you pay attention to the cells, 0 1 4 5 12 13 8 9 these eight cells are adjacent to each other so we can group all of these eight adjacent cells to form an octet okay we can form an octet now pay attention to cells 0 4 2 and 6 0 4 2 and 6 so we can group these four cells 0 4 2 and 6 to form a quad 
again pay attention to cells 4 12 6 and 14 to form another quad this is how the grouping will be done now where mistake happens is that what students do is that suppose we have these three cells two six fourteen after forming this octet what students do is that they form two pairs when they are new to this concept they form two pairs which is wrong always give priority to a higher population group okay here there is a possibility of formation of a quad so don't form pairs okay always give priority to a higher cell group here form quads instead of forming two pairs that are two quads possible so don't form two pairs with this it will be wrong okay so grouping is done now we have to find the common variables from the groups so first let us consider the octet so okay let us write the horizontal and vertical components B bar then we have C bar D bar C bar D so here in uh, the horizontal side you will see there is nothing common everything is changing A bar B bar A bar B up to this point A bar is there then here it is we are getting a so it is changing b is common in these two again a is common in these two but b is changing so there is nothing common in four of these horizontal components okay now in the vertical side we have c bar common sorry c bar common in these two cells the vertical components so c bar will be there in the simplified boolean expression so here in the simplified boolean expression c bar will be a part the octet part is done now the two quads okay for the quads let us first take this quad involving 0 2 4 6 so for this quad involving 0 2 4 6 the horizontal components are a bar b bar a bar b c bar d bar c d bar okay so now here in the horizontal side we have a bar common in both the horizontal components the vertical side we have d bar common in both the vertical components so the common part will be a bar d bar which will be part of this simplified boolean expression now the other quad involving four 12, 6 and 14 4, 12, 6 and 14 4, 12, 6 and 14 we have the horizontal components A bar B A B 12, 6 and 14 C bar D bar and C D bar the same C D bar ok so here in the this quad the second quad we have b common in the horizontal side and d bar common in the vertical side so b d bar will be the common set of variables which will be part of the boolean expression b d bar so this is the simplified boolean expression for this 
function which is given c bar plus a bar d bar plus b d bar or it is this is the simplified boolean expression so this is the ninth question related to simplification of four variable sop expressions